many of the participants came to Brussels precisely because they had this fundamental question. Are we doing the right thing when we intervene in governance and are we doing it in the right way? And there were increasing doubts about this. Uh, of course, the European Commission, like other donors, have learned a lot in the last decade on how to support governance. But at the same time, there were more and more doubts that we were not getting the results uh, commensurate with all the money invested in it. Uh, there are many examples of it. Uh, you support reforms in, against corruption, but corruption is increasing. Uh, you support democracy programs, but programs uh, of democracy also don't get the results, the expected results. So a lot of participants really were asking the question, uh, we know more about governance, but do we really hit the target? Are we having the results that we expect? And the answer uh, after the full first day of seminar, that's why we started with Hey guys, how does it work? What is the state of the art? The answer was quite sobering. They say in most of the countries where we work in Africa, and there were more than 20 delegations, uh, we are not getting uh, absolutely where we want to get. And so they said, we have to rethink. We have to rethink quite fundamentally how we work, how we operate. We have more and more knowledge. Let's use it. And four days of the seminar were also used to see how this knowledge can better be applied. But it's not only a question of knowledge. They also said often when we are in the field, uh, we don't have a clear political guidance of our leadership. Uh, and hence, it's very difficult to operate as delegation and to say, OK, let's do this, let's do that. Um, that was another problem. And then also the instruments that we have at our disposal now, maybe they are not always the right instruments to fundamentally support processes of change. Because I think the participants all agree on one thing. Governance is not a project. That's a societal transformation. So in fact, we are trying to assist from the outside, which is very difficult complex processes of societal change, where state and society have to make new deals, new bargains about fundamental public goods. And we don't really are influential enough, certainly not with the money we put in it. So it is, ready, uh, it is now really time to say, let's look at how we can fundamentally improve our approach to governance. And I insist building on the good experiences of the last 10 years. A lot of knowledge has been accumulated, but the application of it in difficult context in order to really transform uh, the societies and help to move forward on the governance agenda, that I think was the real uh, reason why participants say, let's first start with this question. Are we doing the right thing? Are we doing it in the right way? And the answer was say, not always and many times not. The main lessons is that when you do these kind of things, you are not alone in the world. There's a lot of people who is trying to do the same thing in a lot of countries. But in fact, we don't know each other. Then uh, I would say this seminar has uh, two eight values for people from the field. First one is to give to everybody uh, this conceptual framework and to show that commission is shifting from a technical approach to a political one who uh, is like an open Pandora's box. I mean, there's a lot of uh, challenge uh, and very complicated. I mean, uh, we're talking about a different kind of job. It's, it's not the same to manage a program that to facilitate a process. To, you need new tools, you need a new commitment, and you need to go out of the office. But people already do these kind of things at delegations. And as I told before, but we don't know each other. Then uh, I discovered a lot of people who had experience similar as are mine. And uh, in some way, the unseminar like that is uh, the starting point of something else 